And even if we do assume dragons actually exist, they probably wouldn't live in our climate. A more moderate climate would be better for them, because reptiles like it warm. Uh, reptiles that actually exist, that is. Stop being a bore! Now you'll see it for yourself. I'm not being a bore. I'm being appropriately skeptical, so you won't think I'm gullible. Crunch! I'm mainly here for the bet Crunch! we made. If you're wrong and dragons don't exist, then I win this candy bucket. <laughs> <laughs> this is my crunch. A dragon. It's alive. <laughs> crunch, sit. Good boy. Crunch, bust a move. <laughs> Pretty awesome, right? <laughs> but you can't tell anyone. Crunch is a secret. The new huh? year is coming, and I must welcome it with a clean body and soul. Pure water bath. That's what the Japanese hold. Well, looks, looks like we have some guests. Let's hide. Oh, oh, tap water yeah. isn't pure. For a real Japanese bath, we need clean water from a calm lake. For maximum relaxation. You really need to relax. <laughs> After all that sitting... Mm hmm. Mm. <laughs> Thanks for that. Get up. Back to work. Sorry. Hmm? Let's get out of here. The barrel's full enough. Phew. Almost blew our cover. What? Thanks, Rosa. Just help yourself. Crunch, come out. Crunch! Was he asleep or something? Or something worse. Mm-hmm. Huh? <laughs> Some yak milk. Some roses for Rosa. Your bath is prepared. Us. Until the tea ceremony, you're dismissed. Does she know? I don't work for her. overcame the bold, smoldering dragon and freed the pretty porcelain princess. And they lived happily ever after. You're going to make excellent prince bait when you're older. Right, Wally? Well, as you can see, 
Your dragon's doing fine. You kidding? He couldn't be doing any worse! Rock a rock a rock a bye, precious little Tootsie Pie. Booza! Get your trotters off my dragon! What? <laughs> He's not yours! Oh, yeah? Crunch, come here. <laughs> Crunch, my friend, you recognize me. <laughs> Who's a good little dragon? It's Tootsie Pie's bedtime. There's no Tootsie Pie here. It's Crunch. Crunch! It's my dragon, and I'll give him any name I want. Crunch is my dragon. No, mine. Wally? Hmm. Chico? Mm. Oh, no. It's Crunch. Crunch is my dragon. Crunch is Crunch. Oh, what an adorable little thing. Uh-huh. <laughs> so, Crunch, it's time to try sledding. <laughs> That wasn't the plan. I thought we were supposed to make snowmen. Rosa, you can make a snow whatever. I could really care less. But Crunch here wants to sled, right? <laughs> you don't get to tell him what he wants. Crunchkins, don't you want to make a snowman? Doesn't that sound fun? <laughs> you leave him alone. Why don't you? Chico? Wally? I don't know who you think you are telling him what to do. I'll have you know that I'm an expert in the care and feeding of dragons. <laughs> You're not his boss. And you Making are... Making snowmen is a better idea. Uh, hey, anyway. you guys. <laughs> Crunchy Poo. What a wonderful snowman you made. Attaboy, <laughs> Crunch. Sled it down the hill like a champ. But his <gasps> snowman. No, his sledding skills! Snowman! Sledding champion! This Snowman! is going nowhere. I think we should, you know, intervene. Hmm. Listen, you two. Wally and I have decided, since you all can't play together, we need to split Crunch's time up between the two of you. Right. Fine by me. Then Crunch will quickly see that I'm the favorite one. He'll see you're not nearly as fun as I am. Isn't that right, Crunchy Poo? Here's your custody schedule. Rosa gets crunch on even days and crash on odd days. If you are a dragon, big or small, fun is most important above all. Who thinks they're more worthwhile? Doesn't matter to a reptile. And he'll do just what he wants. Every day, a new activity. There's no room for negativity. Oh, stop your fighting and your bragging. When you babysit a dragon. Cause he'll do just what he wants. Stop your fighting and your bragging When you babysit a dragon la, 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 la. He's just here to have some fun They're nuts worse than before And it's almost New Year's Crazy <laughs> Oh, that's right That's it, we can use the New Year We'll have a giant celebration together With fireworks Brilliant They'll forget they were ever fighting! Who's hungry? Have a turnover! But you know what's better than turnovers? Some delicious candy. That is not good for him! Plus, you like turnovers more, huh? Have some more candy for Crash! Turnovers! Candy! Turnovers! Candy! It's your fault, he's sick! Don't argue in front 
of the dragon? Hey, you guys. Uh, let's do some uh, fireworks. <laughs> Happy New Year. Yes, yeah. yay. Hooray. Let's do fireworks. And the best part is we're all together. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe together's not the best. Yeah, you know, maybe it's not. Crunch just wants to be with me. I seriously doubt that. Then why don't we let him decide, right here and now? Wonderful. We'll let him pick. I know he wants me. Crunch? Crunchy cakes? Hmm? Huh? Where's Crunch? Uh. Maybe we've misjudged him. What if he really doesn't need us? <sighs> you know what I could use now? A turnover. Maybe you should stop fighting. Maybe. For everyone's sake. Hmm? Hmm? Rosa, I'm sorry. I really am. I'm sorry too, Crash. Honest. Ah! Oh, crunchy cakes. He takes after you. That was a brilliant idea you had. Crunch disappearing. The box thing. That wasn't mine. Whose idea was it? I can't do it. I wish I could. Wait, I thought it took dragons hundreds of years to breathe fire. He's just a baby. No, I'm confused. What if he isn't? We don't know. <laughs> this is Whatever. Awesome. Stop your fighting and your bragging. I fell out of bed this morning, banged my head while I was snoring. Then at breakfast, spilled my coffee after my sink sprung a leak. <laughs> then I take it up a notch, I split my pants right through my crotch. And then I found a pimple on my cheek. But this still won't stop, quite surprisingly. Such a happy mood deep inside of me. It's a strange and wonderful thing to see. When a good mood comes unexpectedly, yeah! <laughs> then from there it just kept coming. The bus I take to work stopped running. So I walked the last five miles and got splashed on by a truck. Finally I reached my building and stepped into the elevator. It took off and stopped, now I was stuck. But this still won't stop, quite surprisingly Such a happy mood deep inside of me It's a strange and wonderful thing to see When a good mood comes unexpectedly yeah. Why are you so gloomy, Wally? The question is, why are you always so cheerful? <laughs> why be sad? Everything is great! If the sun's shining, it's all good. If it's not shining, <laughs> I'll make my own sun. <laughs> and why do you think everything's so great anyway? Why, did something bad happen? <laughs> yes, of course. <laughs> something bad is always yeah. happening somewhere. Ooh. Only some of us are smart enough to realize it, while others aren't. Somewhere out there, someone is sick. Somewhere, someone is very hungry. Maybe they're injured, and they're all alone. That's why I sit here and think about these things. I'm not gloomy. I'm serious. And you're not serious. I'm serious about that. <laughs> Listen to this. So I'm brushing my teeth this morning. Brushy, brushy. But then there isn't any foam. <laughs> it turns out I mixed up my paw lotion and toothpaste. <laughs> What's the matter? <sighs> I'm being serious. Look, don't you understand that somewhere out there, someone is in real trouble, and you're happy? Can you imagine how they'd feel if they saw how you were acting? It'd make things a lot worse. You have to be more serious. Seriously. And Chico, when it comes to your teeth, stick with real toothpaste. 
Ah! Oh, no! My preserves! Oh, I'm so clumsy, so clumsy! Ah! Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ah! It's a disaster! Such a disaster! What a disaster! After picking out the best berries one by one, they're all gone, and the preserves are ruined. The stove is so dirty, it'll never get clean. And this towel is so stained, it'll never wash out. It's a disaster! The worst disaster ever! Crash, close the door on your way out. You mean leave? You're just making things a lot worse. But I've messed things up in the past, and you've never told me to leave. Before, you were cheerful. You were like a ray of rabbity sunshine. You used to glow. When I looked at you, I didn't care whether the carrots were rotted, or if the ladder's broken, or the bees didn't make enough honey. Hmm. I used to glow. <laughs> Gonna take a while to pick all these apples. <clears throat> to glow with joy. Get it? Happiness! How am I supposed to be happy when someone somewhere has... Listen to this! Listen to this! Listen to this! Someone is stuck on a fence up high? That's no reason to moan or cry. Thunderclouds gather in the sky? It's not so bad. No need to cry. You went to sea and said goodbye? Well, okay. Go ahead and cry. <laughs> Isn't that wonderful? How can you be so happy when someone, somewhere, might be... Hold on there. I've done my share of suffering. a boy, Wally. <laughs> I don't understand. Let me ask you. Can you really be happy when someone is out there suffering? Of course you can. Not everyone can suffer all at once. <laughs> it just yeah. wouldn't be practical. Yeah. You'll just have to... Wait your turn. Wait my turn? Whose turn is it? Ours. We'll be suffering for a while. I'd say we got about 20 minutes more on the clock, so you go on. <laughs> go have fun. <laughs> Thank you. But this still won't stop, quite surprisingly. Such a happy mood deep inside of me. It's a... <clears throat> As you're all aware already, our annual fun day is coming up. It's time to decide what we should do. We need ideas. Anybody? Oh, um... <gasps> it should be something we can do together. Like a flash mob. Wouldn't that be just awesome? You said mob? It's just called that. We all do the same dance at the same time. Hmm. I think I've seen that on the news. When's the soonest that we can start? Well, not today, I'm afraid. I'm scheduled down to the minute. I can do tomorrow at any time. Wait. Tomorrow's the last day the calendulas are blooming. I'll be out gathering them until midnight. Everybody needs to be here, or else the dance won't work out. Yes, you're right for sure. Then I think we need to choose a director whose job it will be to organize our schedules. And I'm thinking that director should be... Chico! Chico's the perfect choice. Just let us know when the schedule's ready. I have no idea what I'm doing. It'll be a piece of cake. You just need to be sure everyone's ready to perform in our, uh, uh the flash mob. Oh, hi, Carlin. I'm working on the schedule. When's good for you to practice? Well, let me think. Tomorrow I'm going to the gym, and Wednesday I'm tanning. Thursday is jury duty. Check with me next week, but not before Friday. Mm. Next week is tough for me. I might make it. I might not. I might make it. I might not. 
Next week? I can't do it. What about Tuesday? I can do Wednesday. I'm working on it. How about Thursday? Possibly Friday. I might be late, though. I have a deadline. I'm busy. Not now. Let's see. So when's our first practice? <laughs> oh, probably not ever. Not this Monday. Not next Tuesday. Chico, fun day's coming up. And if we don't have this flash mob thing ready to go by then, who are they gonna blame? They're gonna blame you. But Chico, this was your responsibility. Don't forget, we counted on you and you let us down. It's not my fault if nobody cooperates with me. Make them! You're the boss! They have to do what you tell them to do! And if they take a step out of line, if they don't listen to your orders and directions and commands, be sure to write them up in your notebook, then you'll punish them later. And how am I punishing them? Just threaten to write them up and we'll deal with the logistics later. Good morning! Our first dance rehearsal starts in five minutes, so you'd better hop to it. You don't want to make Chico angry. <sighs> Do you know what time it is? Oh, I'm still sleeping. <sighs> yeah, uh, Chico, I know. it's all right. Don't get angry. I'll deal with everyone for you. What do you think you're doing? Do you want Chico to write you up in his notebook? His what? People, do not make him angry. I'm warning you. Trust me, you don't want that. You do not want that. Mm -hmm. Now, line up. Stand tall. Attention. Shall we begin? Ready? Right, left, right, left. Lift those knees. Right leg, right leg. Keep it. Chico took out his notebook. I uh, know. Someone's in for it. No talking. Straighten up down there, Rosa. Dance harder, Daco. And five, six, seven, eight. Da, 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 da. We are dancing. La, 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 la. Da, 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 da. Please look alive, guys. Let's see some smiles. Phenomenal. Hooray. Let's take <laughs> Oh, what's up, guys? <laughs> I got this. I think that's enough. Thanks for your hard work, everyone. The boss says leave. I don't want to be the boss. Chico, don't worry. You're doing just fine. Try and stick it out. the point. They all think I'm some kind of stick in the mud now. I'll always be the boss to them, the fun hater. They will want me around. That's crazy talk. Before you know it, they'll be back to thinking of you as the quiet little mousy guy they know and love. I'll never be that guy again. It's all this flash mob's fault. It's ruined my whole life. You're overreacting. Nope. Oh, uh, yeah? Crash, mm -hmm. if you insist on arguing, then I will write you up in my notebook. The creation of a great work of art is a combination of many different factors. In order to get the creative juices flowing, an artist must work in the proper environment, preferably one with adequate lighting, pleasing temperatures, and most importantly, plenty of quiet. When all these factors are in place, then an artist is free to toil and dream, wander and wonder, and ultimately create a masterpiece. End of part one. Wally! 
Hey, Wally! Crash and I were playing catch, and he threw the last pitch a bit too high. And I tried to grab it, but it went over the fence, mm -hmm. and I couldn't. You okay, Wally? My poems. What's that? They think he wants us to preserve his poems. I promise you, I won't let them forget Wally. <laughs> it's gone. I had it, but the inspiration is gone. If only... If only I could remember... The muse is gone. I have no hope. No hope! Why? You idiot. Inspiration is rare. It doesn't just drop from the sky. It doesn't, huh? In order to write a perfect poem, one must create the perfect atmosphere. Only then may inspiration reveal itself. I'd nearly found the perfect word. And then your dumb ball came and knocked it right out of my brain. Don't worry, Wally. We'll take care of everything. Get comfy. Use some paper. Everything's perfect. Nope, it's not. Before you came, there was a honeybee buzzing in those bushes. Voila! Ye <laughs> gods, is this really happening? Okay, cut. Wally, I think I got it. You need atmosphere, and that means I'm your bunny. Hey, Chico, help me out here, will ya? How do we start, Wally? Writing requires concentration. I'd like some quiet, please. Huh? Hello? Oh, now that certainly is quiet, isn't it? Maybe too quiet. Okay! Ah. Perhaps I'll feel cooler in the shade. <laughs> no good. I just can't write outside. Inside would be better. Maybe a little too cramped. I think I have claustrophobia. I'm a little precarious up here. Too damp. Too hot. Mm. Mm. Ah, oh, come on, Wally. Don't give up. You just can't. You're a genius. When I hear your poems, <laughs> oh, I get shivers just thinking about how you make good words. Thank you, my good friend. But I'm afraid those days are gone. I once composed a lyric a day, but now my days are futile, empty, and hopeless. Oh, muse, return again. Oh, beauty. Man, what a bummer. Hey, fellas, mm -hmm. what's going on? Well, Barry, it's kind of a long story. This morning, Wally was out writing one of his poems, when this joker over here missed a fly ball and it hit poor Wally. And that's when we damaged his muse. Oh, don't you worry, Wally. As a fellow artist myself, I know just the thing you need. Mm -hmm. Everybody, come on, come on! <laughs> <laughs> Quiet! <laughs> I've got nothing. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, I'm finished. Doomed. I am not a poet. I am a spurious fraud. Wally, slow down! Don't talk like that, Wally. It's not true. I can't go on any longer. Life means nothing to me. Nothing! <laughs> Oh, pale moon, you mock me, for you do not enter my pen, but only my heart. That sure is poetic. Yeah, Wally, that's great. Penetrating. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Au revoir, mon ami. Uh, Wally! <sighs> Lo, the moon there shining. Lo, the glow, so calm, mm. water, that reflects as a mirror, the night. See the moon <laughs> dancing in the waves, your loneliness is mine to share. What do you think? The mm. ending's a downer. No, it isn't. It is a poem, and it tells the truth, not just some sentimental drivel. 
I am a poet once again. A real poet. My muse has returned. She has returned to inspire me. Of course, a genius is never uninspired for very long. Poetry exhausts me. Let's go home. Those who lack confidence in themselves are usually afraid of the future. The overconfident ones are afraid of the past. And the present is so fleeting that you have no time to be scared of it. A birthday is the day when those of us who live in the present look back at the past and hope for a better future. There is no reason to be afraid of birthdays, even if the past suddenly threatens to disturb the present. You know, Barry has a big birthday coming up. So here's an idea. I'd like to give him a pocket watch. I have the chain. Now we have to find a watch. We'll just find something in your junkyard. Then you fix it. <gasps> okay, and I'll decorate it with a bunch of bees! <laughs> Yeah, and I'll write a beautiful inscription for it in perfect iambic pentameter with my exquisite handwriting, okay? Then? If we want to give him something that tells time, here, they always say the bigger the present, the happier the person getting it. Ooh, how about this one? This one plays music, and it has loud chimes, and it has dancing earthworms that come out every hour. That would be nice, uh -huh. but I don't have enough beads to cover that one. Great idea. I can still write the same inscription, but now the letters can be so much bigger. Who needs a clock that has dancing earthworms in it? Or how about a clock that makes a delicious sandwich when you're really, really hungry? A tuna sandwich or two, a miss at seven, and a button for extra mayonnaise. Now that would be a good clock, all right. All your meals served on time. Here, look. Is this good? What's with you? I told you we don't have enough beads! We've known each other for such a long time. And over the years, you have to admit, we've given you all sorts of presents. <laughs> <laughs> we wanted to give you something you could feel good about. <clears throat> something that was practical. Well, that you could use. And something that was fun, too. Open your eyes. Mon cher, pourquoi aren't you sleeping? I am in such a dilemma, my darling. I can't decide what to do tomorrow. Either play billiards with the prince once again, or remain here at home and play my music. Are you mad? You are doing neither. In case you've forgotten, tomorrow is the governor's ball and you are attending with me. 
That settles that. Now come to bed, darling. I need my beauty sleep. You're right. You're right. <laughs> hmm? <gasps> Holy moly. What was that? Did you see that? Tell me you did. Um, I saw it, but... Do you think it was... <gasps> Someone trying to put a curse on us? <laughs> 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 Oh, my word. Molechka. Yes, dear, I'm coming straight away. Molechka, there is a gentleman who is sleeping in our bed. What? What, may I ask, are you doing here, sir? Me? Uh, well, I, I live here. Mulenti. Mulia, take it easy. Calm down. Muliduli, don't get upset. Easy. Mulenti, stop! Mulenti, please take it easy. Calm down. You're getting in a huff again, my darling. Really. Everything will be just fine. Molechka, please. It will be just fine. Really, I promise. Um, they think they live here, and this is their country house. They says we're farmhands or something. Stop whispering. Do you understand, peasants? He's really strange. He even called me a... Blacksmith. Somebody go and ask the estate manager to come here. I can see that you're quite useless. You can't even escort your landlord to his estate. See? Hear that? That's it. Call a constable. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I mean, this, this just can't be. It's it's impossible, you know? Uh, excuse me, sir. I was wondering if you happen to know the year? Hmm. I believe I understand now. You two are completely daft. Let's be civilized and handle this properly, my darling. To answer your question, the year is 1808. They're both nuts. It's phenomenal. So exciting. <laughs> oh. <sighs> It happened right here. I don't really know how, but it did. I now believe that our clock somehow acted as a time machine and transported itself into the past, then managed to pick up those two and come back to our time. In, in theory, it's possible, but to make it all... But how does a clock turn into a time thingy? Is it possible? These things happen all the time in experimental physics. You'd have to be a scientist to really understand. The thing is... We have another problem. I convinced them to stay at my place tonight. I said it was the local inn. However, we'll have to come up with something in the morning. That part is easy. We just explain the truth. Oh, no. That is the last thing we should do. You see, science has actually proven that if a person goes to the past and he accidentally crushes, let's just say, a butterfly, from that point on, the future would be completely different. In fact, none of us might be here at all. All because of a butterfly. What if someone crushes somebody's grandma or grandpa? If that were to happen, can you imagine the effect it would have on us? <laughs> Well, it's easy then. We just keep them away from butterflies, and then we'll... Oh! If they find out the truth, there's no telling what the two of them might do. They're from the 19th century. They're accustomed to a different way of life, like meadows and shepherds, boring food. Their brains have not been hardened by television. So we pretend it's... Uh, what year was it again? We convinced them the year is 1808. Wow. So undisciplined. Rocks were popular back then. Every decent landlord of the 19th century used to have lots and lots of rugs. Great big rugs. 
rugs, sure, maybe, but not vacuum cleaners. <laughs> Sweet sauerkraut! Butterfly effect, grandmother effect, grandfather effect, grandmother effect, grandmother effect, 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 effect! Oh, peasants, where is the landlord's house? I mean, my house. <laughs> <laughs> Bechamel. No, that's not it. Ah, if I had mountains of gold in you... And this does not look familiar. They must have changed things. Did you plow and plant the fields while I was away dealing with state affairs? Where are you? And what is that awful noise? Where is the landlord's house? I mean, my house! Ask over there! And no more of that pig calling. Get busy! No problem! For you, my love, these flowers I throw. If only a love for me, it would grow. You there, what are you doing? What is this for? To knock apples down from the trees? Did you invent it? Uh, not exactly. So where is my house? I think I'd better go. Oh, no, peasant. Stop right there. Come back here. Do you hear me? <laughs> Don't run away, coward. Come back here. <laughs> 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 Where is my estate? I'm the landlord. Where is my estate? Uh, Desire, please take it easy. Calm down, Desire. Let me try to explain to you. You see, it's a long story, and I'd be glad to explain it all if you'll just calm down. Where do I start? Let's just start at the beginning. <laughs> You see, how shall I put it? The ground the house stood on was unstable, highly unstable. The earth divided asunder. Before you knew it, your entire estate just went up in a big ball of fire. Mother Nature played a cruel joke, but at least you went home. Let me smell your breath. Oh, sure. <sighs> hmm. <laughs> 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 My darling, I'm afraid that it appears that the peasants burned down our estate. Pourquoi? Oh. Was it from carelessness, or was it in protest? That's a good question. To be honest, my love, I don't think they know yet. Uh, you see, Mulenti, we deserved that, really. You are always elsewhere playing billiards, and I'm usually attending a ladies' function or a high tea. We're just never at home. I'm afraid, my darling, we need to change our ways. We need to show the peasants that in many ways we're not so unlike them. We can do manual labor like, uh, um, I don't know what I can do. I'll go wash my handkerchief. Yes, you're right. Just like always, you're right. You have a handkerchief to wash. What am I to do? Oh. Well, you're very intelligent, my Muli darling. You can use your brain. You need to give an education to your peasants. Show them that burning an estate is wrong. It's dangerous, not to mention uncivilized. And worse than that, tell them it's unfashionable. That's easier said than done. They don't even know what year it is. Greetings, dear peasant. Imagine that you are carrying three apples, and you eat one. <gasps> and another apple you give to your landlord. How many do you have left? Hmm? Uh, one? How can you possibly have one? I'll say it again. You eat one, and you give another to your landlord. Hmm? Oh, you're right. 
there's one apple left. <laughs> that brilliant town, a brainy town, got more smarts the towns all round. If it's smart, you need right now, head on down to Rainy Town. They say that you're sure to find everyone's got a brilliant mind. <laughs> but is it far to Brainy Town? Loan me a book and I'll take you down. Sit down, peasant woman, because, well, the truth is sometimes hard to stand for. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. uh, listen close. Mm -hmm. I know you've been led to believe that the Earth is flat because the ground looks flat. But the truth is, it's not flat. The Earth is a planet, and that means it's perfectly round. Actually, not quite. Accept it, poor wretch. It's a little more squished, something like this. It's all because of the axle rotation, you know. Hmm. In Brainy Town, we soon got there. We wrecked our brains and pulled our hair. In the brilliant town of Brainy Town, we started searching up and down. We went searching through the town and found no smarts anywhere around. Mm. To do things right and get ahead, use the smarts inside your head. Inside your head, inside your head, inside your head. Brainy Town can't make you smart if you've got no brains to start. If you've got no one share their geniuses, all our peasants are geniuses. <laughs> I'm going to write a revolutionary new educational program. It will change the world. I'll send it to the government and receive accolades and a shiny medal. What am I saying? Who needs a medal? I'm doing it for the good of mankind. I'll lead us into a golden age. Everyone will be highly educated. The speed of progress will increase tenfold. This uh, will... What? Huh? What is going on? Huh? Hmm? That's genius! <laughs> Holy carrots! They went uh, back. Guys, listen, next time I don't need such a newfangled gift, okay? A good old shovel, a bag of fertilizer, that'd be fine. In fact, I... don't I... mean to interrupt, but I'm afraid there won't be a next birthday. What is that supposed to mean? It's the butter butterfly. I mean, the butterfly effect. They went back to the past, and if he proceeds to write an educational program, that could change everything. If everyone in the past is smart, there'll be no room for fools such as us in the future. That's nonsense. What do you mean? What program? We were only humoring him. That ancient grandmother, I mean grandfather, could never write anything that was even half smart. The future can be altered not only from smart programs, but from stupid ones as well. If we start disappearing now, it means the butter butterfly, um, the butterfly effect is working. <laughs> I am telling you, darling, that an educated person would never resort to burning someone's estate. It's nonsense. Au contraire. Voila. An educated person instead would be capable of returning one's estate from going up in a big ball of fire. That seems to be what happened. Mulanti, come oh. have your tea! Ah, yes, dear. Coming. I want to start my program. My darling, that program is going to turn the world upside down. So, dear, is it done? No. I'll do it tomorrow. Oh, no, oh wait. The governor's ball is tomorrow, remember? I'll do it the day after tomorrow. <sighs> ah, that's it, the day after tomorrow. That is, if nothing else comes up. This is utterly ridiculous. How much longer is she going to cry? I didn't think it was possible to flood the world with tears, but Rosa proved me wrong. Colin, stop whining. I'm not whining. We're floating around in this rinky-dink boat, mm. all because she's been weeping for hours on end. Mm. Quit wailing. Do you want to drown us in a whirlpool of your tears? Oh, hush. She's obviously heartbroken. <laughs> Don't cry into the boat. You'll sink us. Cry overboard. <laughs> oh, come now. What happened? I, I was sitting in a tree, when suddenly I fell. So then oh. I thought, oh my, I could have died. <clears throat> All of you had to go to my funeral. You'd be absolutely devastated. You'd have to live with me. That's it? You didn't die. Everything is fine. <laughs> you can stop crying. I told you, overboard.
<laughs> Hurry up, guys! The water's rising fast out here! <laughs> Holy carrots! They're bringing her right to us! What are they thinking? Hang on! I think of something. <laughs> How long is this gonna go on? No idea. Thank goodness it's not raining. Well, rain would be preferable. At least we could predict when the rain would end. Phew. Mm. Okay, I'm all done. Right, right. I heard that. You think I like being this sensitive? You have no idea what it's like. When we release our emotions, they no longer hold power over us. We are free. Let's all cry together. <laughs> and now we all stop. Let us have a laugh together. <laughs> Come, laugh with us, Rosa. <laughs> there's nothing to laugh about. Oh, you can still laugh even when there's nothing funny. <gasps> I can't. Oh, what's so challenging? You let your emotions out a little at a time. If you bottle them up, then when you cry, you cry an ocean of tears. And when you laugh, you laugh until you explode. Darko, calm down. Mm. It's okay. I am calm. I just need something to do so I can release this pent-up frustration. What is that? Give it to me. I'll work on the boat. Huh? Whoa! The water level's going down. Time for a song! When my feelings start to rise And they show inside my eyes Who am I to try and hold them back? Just don't hold back! When my heart is all ablazing Then life is so amazing Watch out! I'm on fire! She's on fire! I'm burning, burning, burning up. Oh, why can't you just see? My soul erupts like lava, breaking loose and flowing free. You can say that it's unhealthy. Makes no difference to me. Oh, you might as well expire if you live life without fire. Some say I'm like a firework exploding across the sky. I say. I'm going to pass out soon. <laughs> My legs are numb. Oh, I need a long nap. Oh. Don't stop dancing. After everything that's happened, I don't even want to imagine what will happen if she becomes angry with us. Oh, you might as well expire. It's quite a curious manuscript. Hmm. What's your opinion, Chico? <laughs> Looks like it could be a message from aliens. That's an interesting theory, but unfortunately wrong. What we have is a classic example of a treasure map. Are you sure? It doesn't look like a treasure map. Elementary, my dear Chico. It's encoded, but not a word to anyone.
I think I found an encoded clue. Partially erased with a mysterious sign. So how are we supposed to decode it? We need to investigate. Let's go. All the non-coded treasures have already been discovered a long time ago. But we can be the first to find a coded one. Jump, run, jump, jump, run, jump. Look out, look out, look out. Jump, look out to the side. Daco, we need to use your archives. Well, of course. My library is always at your disposal. We don't need the disposal, just the library. What are you looking for? Maybe I can help. Now it's clear. This is not a map. This is a diagram. A diagram we need to use to assemble some kind of artifact. Most likely a monstrously powerful one. But isn't it dangerous? It might be a bomb. That would be a blast. But what's more likely is this artifact will show us everything we need to know to find ancient treasure. And all that's left to do is assemble all the parts. Ready? Test 126 doesn't work. Something's just not right. Hmm. It looks similar. Now. Holy carrots! Chico! We need to look for parts that have this symbol on it. I'll do some more decoding. Inventor A S. Popov. Popov? Chico! I know what we have to do now. We need to go to Carlin and learn more about the inventor Popov. Let's go! Alexander Stepanovich Popov was an outstanding inventor. He gave people the incredible opportunity to hear each other from long distances. You mean he was a warlock? More like a good magician. Mr. Popov invented a machine that works with magic waves of energy. Huh? And thanks to these rays, we can now transfer any information to any distance anywhere in the world. I get it now. The artifact will show us which way to go on the map. Well, I think that I have finally put it together. Last minute North Pole travel offer. A perfect vacation for the entire... That must be the first clue. The 2015 Spring Olympic Games be held in Murmansk. You tell me. My patriotic duty won't be done until I get to Megadon. When? All right. 
Also known as Constantinople. Uh, also known as Second Rome, which is also known as Istanbul. The film festival in India concluded with all the participants getting up to dance. So what does it mean? The treasure is in five cities? Crash, maybe we should connect all the cities on the map, just like what's on the diagram. Just like the diagram? Hmm. A clue! Ha ha! Chico, I'm a genius! We'll go here. The pines above look down with gusto The road below won't let us fail Straight ahead is where we must go The Siberian Trail If our legs don't turn to jelly If our brains don't turn to stone We will walk We will swim, we will crawl To the city of Oz To the city of Oz Some relax with tea and crumpets, some folks sip on ginger ale. The Siberian Trail. If our legs don't turn to jelly, if our brains don't turn to stone, we will walk, we will swim, we will crawl to the city of Oz, to the city of Oz. To the city of Oz, 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 Oz, Oz. Don't turn to jelly If our brains don't turn to stone We will walk We will swim, we will crawl To the city of Oz 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 Oms To the city of Oz To the city of Oz Oms Oms It's about time. We were starting to get worried. I can't believe that you guys took that long to figure out all our clues. What do you mean, your clues? Isn't this an ancient temple? With treasures in it? No, of course not. It's something much better. Let me welcome you to the Omsk Radio Factory. It was all a waste of time. It was a joke. Why did you blabber on about that?
that magician Popoff and his magic waves. I wasn't blabbering. Popov invented the radio. Radius means ray or beam of light in Latin. And thanks to this invention right here, we can hear each other from great distances and transfer any information. So what is this thing, then? We thought we were putting together some sort of artifact. That's a diagram of a radio receiver. In some sense, it is indeed a magical artifact. I mean, think about it. With this mechanism, we can hear a sound that was sent from thousands of miles away. The truth is, you found something far more valuable than ancient treasures. You put together a radio receiver. You managed to break our secret codes. Then you found your way here. Which means you can consider yourselves true radio engineers and the successors of the great inventor, Popov. For your demonstration of intelligence and ability, we name you honorary radio engineers. Well done! Phenomenal! Bravo! Very well done! <laughs> I feel kind of sad, though. Just a tiny bit that there wasn't any treasure. Some things are way cooler than treasure. To the city of Oms! To the city of Oms! Oms! To the city of Oms, to the city of Oms. Oh.